Hello viewers, uh, now with this video, uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you how to create a purchase order and receive inventory using the QuickBooks uh, Premier Accountant Edition. Our QuickBooks uh, Pro will be, will be the same. This is the speciality that is that it's a, it's a manufacturing company. We've been uh, specifically like uh, we're talking about the manufacturing company. So as you know, that manufacturing companies, uh, they use uh, uh, pretty much extensively. They have to purchase uh, inventory items uh, in order to create their manufacture their products. Uh, so, so in this video, uh, quickly, I will show you how to create purchase order and from there how to receive the inventory uh, from that purchase order. Uh, so let's go let's get it started uh, so first of all you could go from this screen you can see here uh, under the vendors uh, you just can click on the purchase orders uh, but I want to do it a little bit differently uh, show, so you know because last uh, last video I showed you how to uh, but like I, I kind of did the introduction showing that okay you could create purchase order or receive inventory and those things from this screen the home on page of the QuickBooks, but uh, I want to show you that uh, there is a, this vendor you can see here. If you click on vendor, you could uh, you have pretty much the same option that has in that screen. So you can enter bills, pay bills, create purchase order, receive items, and enter bills, receive items, uh, whatever. Uh, only if you are receiving on the item without the invoice, because some, uh, sometimes uh, the vendor doesn't send the invoice invoice right away. They send it later on after you receive the goods so that uh, is another option so things like that so quickly uh, I just showed you in there so let's uh, create the purchase order from here and then I will, I will show you the steps of creating purchase order it's pre uh, pretty uh, easy once it is set up uh, properly so let's click on the purchase order click the purchase order can see this is a black uh, blank purchase order and uh, this, this uh, PO number this purchase order number this gets automatically you can see the date uh, since I'm using the sample manufacturing company uh, file in the QuickBooks it's uh, showing a, like a post date which is 2028 December 31st um, ship to address by default is the company address like it is your company so this we can see that Manufacturing by Co. Whatever 234 Kingsway, Toronto, Ontario. Just the uh, address here. Uh, so first of all, uh, it's already because uh, the the default is already set up when you created the company file. So now you are uh, trying to create a purchase order for a particular vendor. So select the vendor from here, top item here, in the drop down arrow. If you click, if your vendor is already there. You can just uh, click in there. So for my purpose, I just uh, want to click on any one randomly. So say buy by Mike. That's my vendor. See when I clicked on that, I press tab in the keyboard. There's a class. So what class of inventory I am buying? You have uh, like if you have a pre pretty uh, tracking the inventory or the purchases by class. What sort of item you are buying? So it's a Pro shop, special order, shop floor, office admin. So if you're buying different class of items, you can categorize. As well as uh, the QuickBooks give you an option to add on the fly. So if that item, that particular product you're going to be buying, it's not already classified, you can create a new class as well by clicking in here. But for our purpose, we will not create a new one. That's another video I will show you uh, how to create the class uh, properly. Uh, on the fly and also uh, off the fly which means the pro step by step ways of uh, uh, creating that so let's just say special order pro shop and drop ship tool like there's an option like if you are drop shipping like if you are a if you are a, uh, a purchaser and drop shipping to another another customer directly you could do that too so you could select a customer uh, directly so that can go to them directly you can see that the customer list shows up in the drop down arrow so there's an option for that we are not going to use that for now so let's leave it blank uh, the same template I'm going to be using custom purchase order that's uh, 
uh, I have another video on that. Uh, that's I'll be posting for you how to create the templates uh, for each one, purchase orders, sales orders, invoices, uh, all the how to customize that. That's another uh, video I'll be creating for you guys. So yeah, so this is the basic information there. Date you can select the date, uh, whatever date you can post it. Uh, but if you want, if you are sending a few days after, um, PO number you can change. You can have a custom PO number, putting some information uh, before the numbers or after the numbers. But by default, these numbers comes uh, once after another. So this is one to one. You can see PO number. So if you save this and create a new one, the next one will be 121 by default as uh, the system will create it. So that's a normal thing. So there, uh, the vendor is, uh, we already select uh, on this uh, button here on the first tab there. So this is uh, by default it came in. Uh, we can change the ship to address actually from here if you have multiple shippers, but from here we only have coming to us. So we. Uh, don't have a multiple ship to address so it's just only this address next item uh, we'll have, have to put the items of what we are buying say say we are buying for this purpose it's a bar ends and this, this is already set up the inventory item uh, in the inventory list that's so when I click the item number it shows the description uh, then uh, the quantity is blank say for our purpose we are buying 100 and then we are going to the next tab it says rate already set up we already when you set up the inventory items uh, you set up the price so purchase price so this is there uh, you can keep track uh, if you are buying it for like especially for retail uh, like especially for wholesale if you are also selling to other customers uh, for like buying and selling you can keep track by the customers or even if you are a custom manufacturer if you're building something manufacturing something for your customer specific things you could track by the customers like oh i bought this from bike by mike this is my vendor i bought these items for say cycle shop customer you could do that uh, for our purpose uh, maybe we will not add anything just uh, you can just uh, like kind of delete it so it will go away this is the class already here so we already selected the special order you can see it's showing there the class whatever we selected there and the amount is coming here the tax rate if you have this is a showing an exempt tax rate if you have a GST goods and service tax or provincial service tax is standard or zero rated you could do that too uh, but so this is a we showing a exempted so there's no tax calculation the total is here so yeah, that's pretty much you just save and close if you are done with your purchase order or you can uh, click save and new so that will give you the option for uh, creating another purchase order if you are creating multiple purchase order at a time. Uh, just to quickly show you there are a few options on the top of the purchase orders there. Like you can uh, create a new one by clicking here. You can save it, uh, save the purchase order, save as PDF. If you by mistake did this, you just can delete it. There's the options. You can print from here, preview or save as PDF option there. You can email from there too if you have set up email. If you have a like a quotation from the vendor, you want to attach in there a scan copy. You just click in there and attach the scan copy of that uh, quotation from the customer so that would that, that can link this together. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much these things. Um, of the purchase order uh, quickly you can you can uh, create like say for example you uh, issue the purchase order uh, then so you can you, you you have an option to also receive the item right away because it's, sometimes you have you received a code from the uh, vendor you liked it you said oh send me the items i'll send you the po uh, you uh, send them like say um, uh, by like say verbal uh, confirmation that send it to us if you have a good relation with the vendor they send it and you want to create the you still want to create the purchase order to the system so that you have a tracking so you create the purchase order right away and then you because you the vendor already sent you the item so you want to uh, uh, just create the received item as well at the same time so click on the uh, icon here 
create the item receive see here it's showing everything now receive item bill to follow so that means you didn't receive the items uh, yet if you receive the bill as well you can just click in here like in here so this is saying okay this prompt saying open purchase order exist for this vendor do you want to receive against one or more order so you just have to say yes or no for that so we're just saying no so uh, we just uh, don't uh, gonna save it so uh, you can just save and close in here and that will give you the option for item receipts i hope this uh, help uh, videos are helping you guys to using the quickbooks and uh, getting your uh, the answer of your questions quickly if you have any uh, questions you could uh, feel free to write in the comment section down here in the youtube uh, video also uh, subscribe to the channel like the video and uh, give me some inspiration like uh, if you guys are talk, uh, have any questions give me there uh, ask the questions about there i will make a video on that too to answering your questions uh, have a good one we'll catch up on the next video thank you